Hi, welcome to Zena Gallery. My name is Zena, and I'm going to provide an energy reading for tonight. So let's see what we have. So the first message I have, let's see. Make sure you are um, staying in your spiritual truth. And um, let's see. So spiritual truth could just be like mind, body, spirit, within self. Um, so prayer, like your personal sanctuary or your personal spiritual space, prayers. Make sure you're having patience and trusting when it comes to your mind, body, spirit. And trusting like in your transformation and the transformation that's with health and uh, your success or so your finances and any type of um, health. So that could be um, mentally, physically. Um, remind yourself that not only are you in a transformation, you're in a possibly standing still situation where um, there is a passage that's being created from the most high. So from God that leads to um, not only purification, but like leads to your overall uh, purpose or destiny or transformation. So there may be a standstill or there may be a passage that is being created for you. So make sure you are are trusting and having patience with yourself and just, you know, your situation or environments. Um, when it comes to uh, generosity, make sure if you are in a situation, you are being generous with yourself, you're ge being generous with obviously um, people that you may come across or environment that you may come across that um, you can assist with your either spiritual knowledge or um, leadership skills. So just having a good spirit, um, you know, lending a helping hand to others, if you are in the position to do so, either way, it would be, you know, good spirit, um, leadership skills. So anything leading with integrity, make sure you're focusing when it comes to um, your spiritual uh, assistance, when it comes to God, your spiritual beliefs, um, make sure you're focusing so that you are using your spiritual discernment and you are being aware of your spirit guides um, and God and, you know, your spirit team leading you along a pathway and to go with, within the flow. So within self, um, again, with the purification and the healing and the basically refining the spirit, okay? Um Either this could be for, you know, if you're going through tough times or if you're already in a situation where you're, um, you know, you're proud of how far you've came along. Um, there still is an opportunity to be grounded in gratitude, to be, you know, grateful, thankful, and also uh, purifying as much as possible so that you can be strong in your spirit, um, not only strong in your spirit, but strong in the transcending. So the ascension, you know, leading into either a destiny or purpose or just like, you know, your best, at your best of your bestest when it comes into uh, spiritual discernment or spiritual development or just um, well-being. Uh, so Trinity, mind, body, spirit within self. Okay. It's really nice. Let's see what else I have. So the next message I have is being calm is not a weakness. So, you know, basically, you know, just don't be picking up others energy. Don't be picking up energy within self to pick a, um, a battle within yourself. So choose your battles wisely. Being calm is not a weakness. Um, you know, taking it easy on yourself, living in your bliss, you know, bringing in positive attitude. If there's anything, uh, make sure that you are forgiving yourself. You're forgiving others. Make sure that you're choosing love over fear. Um, like attracts a like. So, you know, just being observant when it comes to what do you like about yourself and what do you like about others. So make sure you're creating a positive environment within yourself and others and never ever judging others and not judging yourself. Understanding um, what your body is telling you when it comes to mental, physical, and emotional needs. So being in tune with your body, mind, body, spirit, setting your intentions, and also feeling gratitude and joy in all that you're doing. 
Make sure you're staying open-minded. Make sure you're journeying, journey within. So self-development, spiritual development, um, spiritual discernment, love over fear, you know, forgiving self, forgiving others, um, really finding what makes you happy, making each day count. So not um, focusing on either moving too fast, moving too slow, just making each day count and focusing on the positive out of the day, just because possibly if there's a bad day, it doesn't mean you have a bad life. So make sure you're continuing to ask for guidance. So most high from God, um, you know, your spirit team, um, especially if this is, you know, something that you're confused about or you're stuck at, just make sure you are asking for spiritual guidance. Make sure you're practicing moderation. So like I said, not moving too fast, not moving too slow, listening to what your body has the capacity to take accept any struggles as lessons so if you're going through anything make sure you're asking for guidance and you're accepting if there is a struggle that you're going through instead of focusing on a struggle it's like what do you need to learn from this struggle or this what is the lesson here so that would be the question and if there is um you know any struggle or any lessons um make sure you're learning from the mistakes or it is in a repeated cycle um the sooner you learn from whatever the mistake or if there's a struggle then you know, you can move or transcend into the next situation. Um, remind yourself you are here for a reason. So if this is something that you don't know, you are here for a reason. Everybody's here for a reason, right? Uh, let's see what else. All right. When it comes to make sure you bring in peace into any relationships within your life so that it will flourish. And that's from now until October. And that is emotionally. Okay. So make sure there is love being brought into any situation. Make sure you're standing firm in any type of spiritual storm, any type of, you know, human storm, any type of storm just in general. Make and 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 in any feisty situations and any type of regeneration. Everybody is, you know, um in their own spiritual development path, you know, so just make sure you're not adding fuel to the fire. When it comes to any type of storm, either within self or with others, enjoy life with music, love, and any type of love or romance. And that is uh, emotional and energy. So high vibrations when it comes to now uh, and uh, October. So make sure you're living in harmony, okay, with love, music, and romance possibly. And if you don't have this with a significant other or companion, make sure you're doing that with self. So make sure you're bringing harmony when it comes to your high vibration energy. So I'm getting that with energy, energy, okay? When it comes to a uh, kid at heart, make sure your inner child is awakened. So, you know, make sure you are not taking things so heavily when it comes to emotional with mind, body, spirit. So emotional health, make sure you are, if there's any burdens, make sure you're releasing that so that you can create a free spirit and ask for guidance from most high, which is God. Okay, take a leap of faith when it comes to high vibration and when it comes to from possibly now until let's see April, maybe the end of April, possibly a new beginning could be be coming around the corner. So make sure you are looking out for any type of opportunities or creating any type of opportunity, especially if it's like a higher vibration. So like a leap of faith. Um, so follow your faith. Okay, make sure you're following your faith. Make sure you're asking for guidance. Make sure you are especially if this is someone who wants a new beginning. So, you know, make sure you're putting it in God's hands and you're taking a leap of faith. So no being scared, follow your dreams um, when it comes to emotionally and um, wander. So wander, W-O-N-D-E-R, wander, wanderlust. So um, when it comes to emotional and fulfillment, make sure you're following your dreams. When it comes to a change of heart, Make sure you're reevaluating anything when it comes from now until possibly May. So the beginning of May, make sure you're reevaluating re um, like anything that has to do with the heart. OK, and that could be uh, in health. That could be emotionally. Um, what I'm getting here, possibly like a doctor visit, maybe uh, so cardiovascular. So like maybe heart um breathing properly possibly getting out in the fresh air not being so stuck in the house so reevaluating things that are not healthy for the heart when it comes to health 
concerns. Okay, let's see, a change in transformation. So there is going to be a change in transformation if possibly this could be if someone doesn't see that right now. Um, I'm getting a possibly transformation by November. Okay, so make sure you're sticking to the plan on when it comes to changes and keeping your faith and asking for guidance and reminding yourself you are here for a reason. So um, I'm getting a little bit of... Uh, you got to fight for this transformation. Um, you got to use your action when it comes to this transformation. And you're going to have to have your actions align with your emotional uh, health. Okay. Um, let's see. Let your inner hero out when it comes to your um, lion or lioness within emotional, within um, your, your yourself. Like, so I'm getting, you know, leadership. Okay, let it out. No need to hide it. Choose, uh, make sure you're choosing your duties and your responsibilities carefully. So make sure you're reorganizing. Make sure you're not choosing more duties and more responsibilities, especially if it doesn't belong to you. Make sure you're reorganizing so that you aren't picking up other extra duties and responsibilities. Focus on your self-development, using your discernment, and... um reorganization will save you time and it will save you an, um, a path where you can focus on your responsibilities carefully. Okay. Let's see. Focus on high vibration when it comes to your home life. So your home life could be like uh, work-life balance. Make sure you're focusing on high vibration and self-care self-love so that means getting rest after work drinking water having healthy dinner um focusing on how you need to feel before you're going into work and or anything outside of like home life so home living make sure it's high vibration and you're taking care of yourself mentally physically and spiritually um, when it comes to any success make sure you're reevaluating and that could be from now until the beginning of next year. Um, is it possible you need to go in a new direction? Do you need to have um, a new career? Do you need to invest in your career? Do you need to um, just reevaluate what is success to you? So what is success to you? That would be the question. All right, let's see. A few more messages and we'll be finished. All right, let's see. All right, make sure when it comes to resting make sure you're resting and when it comes to um if there is any sadness make sure you're resting and reflecting with love so basically being like taking care of yourself when it comes to any sadness or anything that it could possibly make you sad if there is any sadness um you know illuminating any ideas when it comes to your abundance make sure you're balancing and you're cleansing so that you can have determination for your strength, overriding any anxiety and any frustration. Make sure um, you are spiritually protecting yourself. Um, so saying prayers when you're up and out, up and you know at work, at home, when you're doing what you got to do, um, so that there isn't any interference when it comes to like possibly your. Let's see. I'm just getting like a lack of uh, spiritual protection or there could be an interference when it comes to any type of spiritual protection. So make sure like that doesn't mean that somebody is attacking you. That just means that, um, you know, if there's any concerns where you feel like not safe, that could be either lack of faith or that could be um, you're not hungry enough for the protect the spiritual protection you need which comes from faith and comes from god so that's just like a friendly reminder for anybody make sure like you are putting um not only you know saying your prayers but also putting energy into you know thanking god being grateful grounded in gratitude but also thanking the fact that you know you are protected and if you don't feel protected then that means there's a lack of faith somewhere because you know, we all protected under his um, guidance, okay? So when it comes to any um, energy that you feel is rejected, 
okay? Make sure you're cautious around that energy because anything that comes with, like, a rejection or, like, maybe you didn't make a deadline or maybe you didn't receive a job or maybe you didn't get a phone call back or anything like that, it automatically trickles or affects the energy and that you got to be cautious with that because if there is any little bit of energy feeling that way, then it, it causes disruption, it causes fear, and it causes pain, right? So make sure you're just like letting go of any, um, it could be as simple as just having a, you know, disagreement with somebody. Just make sure like you're being cautious with that energy because it, you know, you might have felt like, okay, example where, you know, you had a conversation and and the conversation, you know, didn't go well and it caused a little bit of rejective energy. If you're not being cautious with that, just off that simple situation, then what happens, it automatically causes a disruption. It causes fear and it causes pain. Okay. And that is like a tactic that, you know, external forces or internal forces likes to use when it wants to, um, interrupt or disrupt possibly any love, any, uh, illumination when it comes to your ideas when it comes to abundance when it comes to your balance when it comes to your determination when it comes to your strength when it comes to anxiety um, when it even comes to frustration so just make sure that little simple situation any type of um, self-rejection or rejection or something that you wanted to work out doesn't affect your energy okay we're human it could affect your energy right then you know you may have gotten news that you don't want to hear but make sure you're not carrying around that energy that you know it starts tabbing into disruption in self okay in your projects and your abundance and then it starts causing fear and then it starts causing pain so like a trigger that's what i'm getting so like trigger make sure you're not letting situations trigger you and if you are that means there's still some shadow work that needs to be done there's still some work that needs to be done when it comes to faith as well right and that could be you know the lack of protection that we were talking about in the beginning of the reading um you know all right let's keep going all right anything else <clears throat> All right, when it comes to movement, make sure you are moving around and it's not like too much fun. Make sure this movement that's taking place is contributing to your growth, okay? So this doesn't necessarily mean that playtime is over, but this does mean that there needs to be some movement that is catering to your growth and not basically you know, joking around when, you know, you have possibly responsibilities that need to be done that leads to, you know, your own personal self-development or path, you know, surrendering the most high, okay, surrendering any type of, uh, when it comes to your ideas or your creativity, um, make sure you are, it has to do with peace and, you know, from most high God, when it comes to any type of, let's see, let's see what else, hold on, conscious, all right, so yeah, when it comes to peace and you're conscious, okay, so make sure, I feel like here, if you just focus on the movement that's more catering to your growth instead of, you know, playing around or joking around, you know, it's a time to play and it's a time to handle, um, you know, self-business or self, you know, growth or self-development or just in general in spirituality so that, you know, you're not being either tapped into anger or frustrated with your life or just you know, giving up or because you feel like there is possibly no growth. So make sure you are focusing on your creativity and peace. So that could be more into the conscious and subconscious and the external forces won't have basically a leg to stand on when it comes to any type of um, interference. I'm getting interference. And that could just be as simple as People at work, people outside, people that, um, you know, just don't want to see you happy. So I'm getting 
Yeah, I'm getting um some interference when it comes to your happiness, when it comes to your passion, and when it comes to your trust, right? So it could be a lack of happiness, and then there's this external force, which is a ghost, and then interfering with any passion and interfering with any trust. So make sure you're just being mindful of focusing more on um, movement that's catering to your growth and not catering to playtime, okay? Um, you know, like I said, this is a reading for spiritual development, you know, uh, spiritual growth. People that are on a spiritual journey, everybody's in a different path. So, you know, take it as it, how it applies. Let's see. When it comes to any type of isolation, make sure you're being comfortable and going with the flow so that you can get a proper, direct spiritual discernment, intuition. Your intuition is going to lead you to success. When it comes to any type of mysteries or any confusion, make sure you put a space in between that when it comes to your intuition and your success and having confidence. Faith and confidence comes to um, faith gives you confidence, right? So self-confidence, you know, confidence in everything that you're doing, confidence that you're protected, confidence that, you know, you can trust God, confidence that, you know, there's no ghost or anything that is just of dark or external forces is going to interrupt your happiness, and, you know, you have the intuition, you have the wisdom, the knowledge that God is granting you to use. So when it comes to your success and so go with the flow. So don't get stuck on mysteries, all right, trickery or any type of things that are dead, that are just death. All right. That just is not bringing you to life or bringing any type of growth or bringing any type of things that fall into, um, you know, happiness or faith or intuition. You know, God is not the author of confusion. So that's just basically it. And that's what I'm getting. So that is the reading that I have for today. Wasn't bad. It sounds really good. Sounds very uh, discipline like. So um, yeah, I hope that this helps. And my name is Zena. Thank you for watching Zena Gallery and have a beautiful weekend. Bye bye.